80 years ago, something happened in the nation of the United Kingdom, which was incredible. And it's a story that has so impacted us as a country it, that it's influenced our character, our DNA, our spirit. But over the 80 years, the story itself has faded somewhat from our memories. Historians have um, erased part of it. So I want to tell you today the true and the real story of what happened with the miracle of Dunkirk. Let me just give you uh, some broad brushstrokes, some context for this story. It's May 1940 and the Germans are about to attack. The French have uh, shored up their defences in southern France. Uh, Churchill has sent over the British Expeditionary Force, which is about 375,000 soldiers to support the effort in the north. But the Germans surprise everybody and they attack partly through the Ardennes forest and partly through the north. And so we're in the situation where the Germans have not only come right through Holland, but they've also come right through France. German high command actually says the British army is surrounded and our troops are advancing to its annihilation. One of the greatest disasters in history seemed in the making. An entire British army faced annihilation. Churchill's advisers tell him that because of the waters at Dunkirk, the sea at Dunkirk is shallow, there's only one place where the naval boats can come in and rescue. And so they estimate that only 30,000 soldiers will get out alive. It's a pivotal moment in history. And then something happens. Something happens that has only happened in our nation just a handful of times. The King of England, King George VI, on a radio address to the nation, calls a day of prayer. What happened next was miraculous. Hitler makes one of the biggest strategic military errors in history. He decides to stop the advance on Dunkirk, overrules the protestations of the generals and sends the bulk of the army down to southern Europe. Back home, there's a million people queuing up outside churches to pray to the God who answers. There's millions of people at home calling out for their loved ones, pleading with God to rescue them. All the more, it is well for us to show the world that we still believe in divine guidance, in the laws of Christianity. May we find inspiration and faith from this solemn day. Then more miracles happen. The Germans are, are going to launch their air force from Flanders. But a storm, a freak storm appears, which grounds most of that air force. Only a few of the planes are able to take off. Now I know storms happen, that's just life, right? But what's amazing is, while that storm is happening, just a hundred kilometers away, the weather is completely different. The sea at Dunkirk, some generals describe it as being like glass. It's perfect for this armada of civilian vessels to come in, the, the fishermen boats, the, the sailing boats, the holiday boats, to come and rescue the, the lads on the beaches. British ships, cruisers, destroyers, yachts, paddle boats, anything that could float across the channel. And not only is the sea just like glass, but there's also cover of fog. So even for a lot of, for a lot of the uh, Air Force, they found it difficult to, to navigate, to, to actually attack these ships. 
And if that's not enough, if Hitler's decision or the weather conditions are not enough, there's actually accounts of this incredible immunity that some of the soldiers had. One group of 400 soldiers had this consistent attack coming in from uh, what was left of the German Air Force to attack. And when the attack finished, 400 of them stood up and just couldn't believe that none of them were hit. None of them were even injured. One of the uh, chaplains of that group of 400 uh, gives the account that he threw himself down to the ground, you know, lay in the sand, was just praying to God for help. And when it went to silence, he got up and checked himself just to see where he'd been hit. But he hadn't. And he looked down at the sand and there was his silhouette in the sand made up of German bullets. Incredible. So as we remember this story, this miracle of Dunkirk, let's remember the real story. Let's remember the true story, what really happened. Let's remember the, the self-sacrifice of those French soldiers defending uh, Dunkirk Beach. Let's remember the bravery of, of the soldiers and the discipline of the soldiers on the beach. Let's remember the, the courage of all those civilian sailors that that took their personal boats to try and rescue them. But most of all, most of all, let us not forget that when this nation humbled itself, when this nation got on its knees and called to the Lord Most High, that he was good, that he answered, he listened and he answered our prayers. And there are now generations in this country who wouldn't even be here if he'd not heard that cry. God is alive. He loves this nation. And when we pray to him humbly, he listens and he answers. <laughs>